fiction. The Bat, the Mosquito, and the Blood by Finley Chang. Chapter 1. Finley was chatting with his friends outside the laundry mat. He is so nice he gives a bunch of stuff to the pool. They hold a crack. Finley? And his friend jumped. He was as curious as a brain. <laughs> he went in the quack. He saw the worker who was dead. He had a hole right through his tummy. It was... Mm. Chapter 2. Scientist's lab. Bleeding like... Blood. The washing machine was quacking like a egg. No, quacked like an egg. The laundry mat was as spooky as a dark closet. This is top chapter two. Family. Billy wanted to discover what attacked the worker. Finley drove to the scientist's lab. <clears throat> Finley arrives and told him, Scientist, we have to discover what attacked this worker? The scientist put some potion on the worker and it stopped the bleeding. He said the I don't know this one. He said what? He said, um, study yeah. the injury. He studied injury and figured? Figured out was a giant insect that killed the worker. That's the scientist. And I made all these three D's. But I didn't make the people. They got a bat and a washing machine. Is this going to work? Thought Finley. The washing machine cracked mm -hmm. like an egg again. A giant bat flew out. Finley was so happy he jumped up and down. The bat flew out and found a giant mosquito. Oh, it's a giant mosquito, I guess. Its claw went into the mosquitoes stomach and blood drained out. Blood shot everywhere. It was so bloody there. Blood was a river of blood with waves as blo of blood as tall as you. The mosquito was dead. Finley felt joy. His smile was as warm as a bowl of chicken noodle soup. That's yummy and warm. Scientist sighed because he got blood on his new white shirt. That's blood, the black, red stuff. This is all in caps. The bat flew to 
the other side of the world. Dot, dot, dot. I love you, Grandma and Beef. I think Beef would like this because of the blood. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey! Now bye, bye, Grandma and Beef. Mwah.